Would you like to learn how to read Hebrew in as little as nine hours? Or you want to read Hebrew without making mistakes? I'm here to help. Shalom, I'm Rabbi Akira, and with my special color-coded vowels method, you will read Hebrew accurately, independently, and fluently. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you shortly. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin. Let's begin with the Hebrew vowels. Learn to read Hebrew in 18 steps, the whole Torah on one foot. Similar to English, Hebrew vowels compose five basic sounds. A, E, I, O, U. In Hebrew pronounced A, E, I, O, U. Bechavruta logo represents the five Hebrew vowels. A as in aqua, E as in red, E as in green, O as in orange, U as in blue. In modern Hebrew, Nikud is a system of symbols used to represent vowels or distinguish between alternative pronunciations of letters of the Hebrew alphabet. For example, bet and vet. Pe, fe, kaf, chaf, etc. Note, there are more than one symbol for each vowel. If we look at the aqua vowel, we can clearly see that we have three different shapes, three different symbols. We have patach, kamatz, and chataf, patach. In modern Hebrew, patach is pronounced the same as kamatz. In modern Hebrew, segol and segol and sere are pronounced the same, e. However, in Ashkenazi Hebrew, they are distinct, where segol is pronounced e, tsere is pronounced a. But to native Hebrew speakers, these distinctions are non existent. Different from English, vowels make no sound unless they are related to a consonant. To make the sound a, e, e, o, u in Hebrew, there is a need to use a silent consonant like aleph or ein with each of those vowels. Hebrew is read from right to left, so that's going to be a, e, e, o, u. Remember, there is no direct correlation between Hebrew and English vowels. What do I mean by that? In Hebrew, the words sad and sad sound the same. So someone may say, I felt sad. In Hebrew, the words sit and seat, fit and feet, slip and sleep sound the same. So someone may say, can I sit on this chair? What does hippopotamus have to do with the Hebrew vowels? The word hippopotamus is the only word in English that I've found so far that has the five Hebrew vowels. We have the a, as in aqua, e, as in red, e, as in green, o, as in orange, and u, as in blue. So if I'm going to read it transliterated, I'm going to say he, Po, pa, te, mus. He, po, pa, te, mus. Hippopotamus. And that's the whole Torah on one foot. Shalom and welcome to step one of Learn to Read Hebrew in 18 Steps. So, the whole Torah on one foot. The Chavruta logo represents the five Hebrew vowels. We have a. E, E, O, U, aqua, red, green, orange, and blue. In step one, we are going to learn only the aqua vowel. So, A as in aqua. As you can see, we have three different shapes, three different symbols for the aqua vowel, for the A vowel. The X represent any Hebrew letter. So, the A vowels are uh, underneath any Hebrew letter. The new letters that we're going to learn today are Shin, makes an SH sound, Bet, B sound, Tav, T sound. Now you see that we have two different Tav. We have one with a dot in the middle and one without. They both make the same sound. So Tav and Tav. Let's see the keyword that we have 
we have the letter shin, we have an aqua and a vowel, so together the syllable is going to be sha. Then we have the letter bet, b, and with a vowel the syllable is going to be ba, t. The last letter doesn't have any, le any vowel, so it's going to be just, we're just going to sound the T. So it's going to be Shabbat. Shabbat means Saturday. Uh, we welcome Shabbat on Friday night, but Shabbat is Saturday. So the letters that we've learned are Shin, Bet, Tav, Tav. Let's move on to the reading page. Shin, Bet, Tav, Tav. Hebrew is written and read from right to left. So we're going to start on the right-hand side. So we have the letter Bet. You can always check with the letters map here. We have the letters bet, it makes a B sound, and we have an A vowel, so together the syllable is going to be ba. Then we have a T sound, a tav, and the A vowel, together it's going to be ta. Shin, a, sha. Tav, a, ta. Bet, B sound, with A vowel, ba. Another bet, a vowel, ba. Ta. Sha. Ba. Ta. So let's read it one more time. And you can try to read it by yourself and then I'm going to read it. So you start. Ba. Ta. Try. Sha. Ta, ba, ba, ta, sha, ba, ta. Let's move on to the second line. So we have a shin, a vowel, and another shin. So it's going to be shash, shash, shin, a. Bet, shab, shab, shin, a, taf, shat, shat, shin, a, shin, shash, shash, bet, a, shin, bash, bash, taf, a, shin, Tash, tash, and then we have shin, a vowel, the syllable is going to be sha, bet, a, ba, and t, sha, bat. So if we're going to read the second line one more time, shash, shab, shat, shash, bash, tash, Shabbat. Mazel tov! Congratulations! You've completed sample step number one. Siman tovu, mazel tovu, mazel tovu, siman tov. Siman tovu, mazel tovu, mazel tovu, siman tov. 17 sample steps to go. Lehitraot! See you soon! If you want to learn how to read Hebrew in as little as nine hours, or you want to read Hebrew without making mistakes, Bechavruta Learn to Read Hebrew in 18 Steps is right for you. To get copies of my Crash Course books, please visit rabbiakira.com or you can get it on Amazon. Sending many blessings your way. Lehitraot! See you soon!